Hey guys, what's up? It's number nine here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a um, laser slash glowing effect. Uh, so it like wraps around whatever you want. Um, this is my first tutorial, so tell me what you think. So this image is uh, 800 by 600 pixels, and it is in RGB color type, and it is 8-bit. Um, so what you want to do first is you want to make whatever you whatever you want to wrap around so I'm gonna make some text um, hold on let me choose a f good font here's a good one okay so just type whatever there we go YouTube hm. let me expand this alright um, now what you want to do is you want to grab you want to make a you want to grab your brush tool and make it a, a decent size like mine is 8 right now and that's how I like it I like it I don't like my brush to be too thin okay so also this first layer make it a normal layer by alt double clicking and then it's just a normal layer so now you want to add a new layer And, uh, alright, so now you're going to grab your pen tool over here, now that you have your brush selected, and just begin drawing lines like this. Oh yeah, and also, as you're doing this, Go up top here and make sure paths is selected. That's that's a big thing that a lot of people miss and it just screws up everything if it's not have paths selected. So yeah. Just make whatever squiggles you want. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Now that you have that, you wanna go on your, your line or whatever, right click and go to stroke path you wanna use this drop down and select brush and you wanna check off simulate pressure click ok oh yeah ok sorry my bad undo that and make sure your foreground color is white I'm sorry Make sure your foreground color is white. And then you want to right click and uh, stroke the path. See, there you go. It looks kind of weird now, but trust me, it'll turn out good. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to double click on the layer that you have the pen tool on. Hold on. Alright. And then you want to go to this outer glow, which is like the bit most basic. I just like using the outer glow personally. And you want to choose your color. I'm going to use a red color. And um gonna make the uh, size a little bigger. I'm gonna make the spread a little bigger as well. Kind of like that. All right, you can add inner glows and drop shadows, but I'm not gonna do that just 
to save time. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to, uh, in order to get rid of all these little lines, these little pen strokes, you want to just go to paths, right click the worth path, and just delete it. And there you go. Alright, now you, what you want to do is grab your eraser tool. Where is it? And I'm going to zoom in so I can... Alright, um, so now you want, what you want to do is, in order to get the wraparound effect, you want to just erase wherever it just goes under, like this. It's being laggy because I'm recording, but you get the point. And go over here. Let me grab the pan tool so I can get it over here. Actually, that's good. I thought there was a little more, but no. And there you go. That's how you do it. Um, has a nice little look here. So uh, there you go, guys. That's how you make a laser slash glowing effect around text and pictures. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.